Naomi Osaka, world number one women's tennis player, abruptly fired her coach. Now, what's the reason for this? Was it because he has that odd, askew piece of hair that he should have done something with before this picture was taken? No, it was because she wanted to put success over happiness. I think that's an entirely reasonable sentiment. You don't want to end up like uh, Daniel Plainview at the end of There Will Be Blood, just catching a murder charge because you drank some preacher's milkshake or Charles Foster Kane. <laughs> clutching a snow globe because you don't have any video game. You don't want to end up like that. So it's it's understandable. You don't want to put success over happiness. Of course, this was after he led her to two back-to-back, what was it? Grand Slam titles. And she went from world ranking number 72 to number one. And this is what it makes me wonder whether this is kind of a generational thing. You know, it was a, a romantic idea historically, especially in America, that it's like, oh, you put everything into it, you sacrifice everything, and then you get to drink the preacher's milkshake by the end. But if this is a fundamental change, this is like a generational thing where they just, it's not about that anymore. Just not success over happiness. Like I said, she waited to get to number one before she decided this. <laughs> she could have waited at 72 and said, I don't care about success. But she got all the way here. So dropped him just like that. And I I just, I had Googled her to see what was going on with her. And most recently she lost. She's world ranked number one. And she lost to somebody who didn't even have a number, a little number next to their name. So I don't even know if they're ranked. So that's a thing. I, I just wonder if that's it. It's just putting happiness above success. If everybody did that, obviously, then I wonder how many people would be grinding for 80 hours a week to try to wait how many hours are in a week i don't know <laughs> to try to accomplish something i don't know how much great stuff we would get i don't know how much art would be created if that was the case but if you just don't want to do it you're not inclined to be that then you're not how many inspiring people did that did exactly that i don't know but that's that's what you do all right success over ha no happiness over success that's the mantra okay healthy maybe not useful all right bye <laughs>